Canadians save for retirement in two basic ways. Private savings, where you voluntarily choose how much of your money to save and how you save it. And mandatory savings in a government-run pension plan. Now there are calls to expand the Canada Pension Plan. And Ontario intends to launch its own provincial pension plan. Why? Some people claim you're not saving enough. They want government to make you save more. But in the past, when mandatory CPP contributions went up, the private savings rate of Canadian households went down. In fact, for every $1 increase in CPP contributions, private savings decreased by about a dollar. We didn't necessarily save more, we just saved differently. While more money went into government savings, we put less into private voluntary savings. This matters because not all savings are equal. Private savings offer more flexibility and choice. You can tailor your investments. You can pull money out for a down payment on a home or to upgrade your education. You can transfer the money to a beneficiary in the event of death and in some cases withdraw money in case of emergency. Not so for the CPP. So, if you're forced to save more in CPP or the coming Ontario Retirement Pension Plan, you may lose the benefits of private savings. To learn more, visit FraserInstitute.org.